the story on the show. Hi, Audrey. We have the opportunity by putting solar power on each house, more than what the house used, as turning each house into a mini power plant, which is a different way to provide energy for the Negev Desert. The plane hit. Um, I realized, I thought at the beginning it was an accident. We, after all, we did hit the Empire State Building once. Uh, when the second plane hit, I knew it was a terrorist attack. Um, I, I didn't care about the buildings. It never meant anything. The loss of life bothered me. I didn't know what to do. I mean, what do you do at my age to fight these people? And the only answer I had was to come here. I began to teach, and then Mike Brandon, Professor Mike Brandon, and I standing in a hallway. He really led the soul of the Catalan, and I realized that there was a product that could actually help. It, it's getting to the point where, um, with good energy efficiency technologies, um, the the typical roof areas that people have on their house is more than enough to produce the energy that they use over the course of the year and still put more energy back into the grid. Um, it, uh, uh, all the roofs that are, that are around the country are in some ways a, a great resource that is in some ways underutilized. A typical photovoltaic panel um, will directly take solar radiation and convert about eh, anywhere from 10 to 10 to 17 percent of that energy that strikes the the roof uh, into electricity. It produces DC power that uh, is converted to traditional AC power um, using fairly standard electronics these days. Um, so that from inside the house, you would never know that your power was anything special. Um, nor would your neighbor next door, who may be the recipient of the excess power that you're producing and putting back into the grid. The great feature about concentration photovoltaics is that it solves two problems at the same time. The first problem is that it uses very, very much less expensive photovoltaic material than a conventional photovoltaic panel. What do I mean by very, very much less? A thousand or two thousand or three thousand times less. Instead of collecting the light on the panel itself, you collect the light on glass, and then you concentrate it onto a very small amount of this material. Uh, this is saving number one. Saving number two is when you do it this way, the efficiency of the cells turns out to be very much higher than it is if you don't concentrate the light. If your typical efficiency of a flat panel is about 10%, then the typical efficiency of a concentrator panel may be 20 or 30 percent. If you were to place dishes like this, the length of the road from the Dead Sea to Eilat, then you would basically produce a one gigawatt plant, which is 10 percent of Israel's needs, uh, on land that almost doesn't, you didn't even notice it was there. 50 meters on each side of the road. Now, if you, you want to compare that with, let's say, one million families, we each with 10 square meters of conventional photovoltaic panels on their roof, that would produce only 3% of Israel's energy. 
at enormous cost, whereas the cost of these dish type systems would be comparable to conventional power plants, but of course much cheaper because they wouldn't need any fuel.